to my channel welcome to another unboxing of darn good yarn yeah it's bright yellow it's um not showing up quite so well on the camera uh let me get into the box and we'll see what we got this ooh, should have checked box 20 ah oh, okay the um color on the outside goes very well with the color on the inside that's um bright we we there <laughs> we're there <laughs> look at that that's like candy floss it's um, candy candy floss fairy floss that yeah sponge sugar uh it is pink lemonade that's an awesome name for it it's darn good yarn uh twist worsted weight silk yarn it is $10 and you get a gift as well. Let's get some details on this. So you will need a four and a half, five mil knitting needle. It's a gauge of 16 to 20 stitches. It's a four worsted medium. Uh, crochet hook of five and a half to six and a half. Gauge is 11 to 14, three or four inches. It's retail value is $16. It's 50 grams or 35 yards. You're not gonna be doing much with one of these. Okay. Uh, ooh, but look what you get as a freebie, as a gift. You get a strawberry key ring. That's cool. It's a mega roomy. Yeah, that's the thing. So these kits, they do actually include everything in them. So they include the crochet hook and knitting needles, size four or three millimeter and a three millimeter crochet hook. And it includes the yarn, the stuffing, the hooks, the needles, the darning ring and the key ring thingamajiggy. The, the metal dangly bit. Uh, retails for $11.99. I will get into that so we can see the colours in some more details. Now, while I have the box open, take a peek under your goodies for, for some fun ways to reuse the box. Well, inside this box, there are some sheepies along the edges. And then there are some ideas. Uh, Regift something in it, place it on a shelf, wear it as a hat. It's too small for a hat. Not, not my mac kind of hat. Use it as cat proof whip box. I have actually turned this inside out and I have used it as a drill holder. Uh, put everything back in, experience the fun all over again. Yes, because you're going to forget what you ordered. All right, get that out of the way so I can lean over my desk. All right, uh, Nicole has given some info here, some pictures of the Hanks drying and the colors there oh they've made a little bandana little kind of necky scarfy thing um okay so this is a byproduct if you haven't watched any of these videos before it's a byproduct of the silk production and that yields about 10 to 15 percent waste so this is that waste and then these artisans are repurposing it they are spinning it and they're dyeing it and they're giving it to us. Now this worsted weight, you don't pull too hard on it, be quite gentle, but there's a great difference between this dark pink, light pink, and then the light pink mixes in with the bright yellow. So uh, yeah, it's a fun kind of yarn. Now there are different ways that you can enjoy this. So there's the stitch videos where you can see what's done and how it's done. There's a shipping rate. So it's $10 shipping for me and $10 for the product so ten dollars for these two and ten dollars for shipping so from that point of view are you getting your money's worth there there is the dark yarn dashboard if you want to take a break you can skip for any amount of time um, you get customer service online community and the stitch now uh, there are various different boxes that you can get from darn good yarn and uh, Nicole is on video saying how she chooses the editor's box and things like that uh, it's from twisting two strands of yarn together so you see the tie-dye pink and the yellow as they've done that so they've dyed the pink and then they've dyed the yellow and then they twist the two together and you get this gorgeous um, fruit salad -y kind of mix this actually reminds me more of the fruit salad lollies that we used to be able to get it was kind of like a tiny toffee tiny little toffee bar um, in a fruit salad pineapple and orange kind of flavor it was quite yummy and the other option in those sizes were things called blackjacks which made your tongue go black 
but this reminds me of uh, fruit salad or at least this does, definitely does but it's a neckerchief or headscarf if you would like to make a just a really small project you could do it as a doily or whatever but there is a knit pattern there is two little pages on that it's 60 stitches and the crochet is actually nicer than the knit um, and um, can't see how many it's just chains making chains really really simple looks like 19 stitches on your crochet um, and there is the crew at the warehouse showing all of the boxes that we get and there is the catalog all right now this is for ages eight plus uh, if you have younger children who enjoy these kind of things don't limit them by the ages on the kits they may be well able for it at the age of eight or they may be absolutely starting out as an adult but I guess the idea is that you're reading instructions you're doing an awful lot of skill making um, being able to do these patterns so yeah okay try and get everything out the problem will not be getting everything out the problem will be getting everything back in white uh, oh, the whites for the seeds <laughs> cool so your stuffing nice and compact they, um, that's pretty handy because this thing explodes into ginormous quantities actually I've got a big bag of stuffing from some funny projects I had done in the past there is your keyring duvalaki so you've got a small ring and you've got your hook I actually have um, one of the gifts was a pom pom um, kind of tassel, more, yeah, tassel more like. Um, I actually have one of those on my key rings. It's quite fun and chunky, and it stands out a mile if you drop it anywhere. All right, now there is the crochet hook, and there is the darning needle. They're plastic, you know, light, easy to use, and these are three mil bamboo double-ended knitting needles so that's a nice little kind of part of that that they're not you know necessarily cheap all right now the white is for the stick for the seeds on the um strawberry but that might be an after touch so we'll have a look at the instructions for that <laughs> that is a bright bright red <laughs> that's like wow going to need sunglasses little ball of wool it's not much you don't need much that's going to make like quite a few strawberries if you get the um get the bug for these and then some green and <laughs> look that's a butt ton of green when all you need it for is the leafy bit and the um, bit to hang on all right now i'm not going to show you all of the details of the pattern but there is a lovely big picture of yon strawberry you need to do the magic ring, being that it's amigurumi. And look, there is the strawberry. Isn't it cool? Do you see what I mean? That these white bits might not actually be stitches. They might just be afterthoughts that you just put on afterwards. Uh, yeah. So sew all the parts together with white yarn, embroider the seeds onto the pulp, and then add the keychain and the stalk. So it's very much an afterthought. You put it on even after the stuffing. <clears throat> this <coughs> excuse me is crochet on one side and knit on the other okay so I uh, can't really do this terribly well but I will try okay I want to show you both together that's what I'm Kind of after if you're not used to amigurumi and the textures that you get so this is the knit and you can see how tight it is and this is the crochet they actually have much more texture with the crochet um 
my very first project crocheting was an amigurumi. I didn't know what I was doing. I have been knitting for years. Um, and I think I prefer the crochet finish because it's a spiral than I do the knit. Um, but yeah, that's just my kind of feelings on the whole thing. But uh, the knit is a much tighter weave by the look of it than the crochet. Maybe it's just the tension that the person was working. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there you go. You get both. You have the choice. You could do both. You have enough, except for the keyring thing. Um, you actually have enough of the fabric to be able to do either, either, both. Uh, I've done that wrong. We'll get that back and we get this back. Now, if you need any help, there may be help on the Darn Good Yarn website, but you know what? There are some amazing tutorials online where you can find out how to do the magic ring and you can watch them and you can step yourself through there. I've looked and they are really, really informative. So um, please check out the tutorials on those. There are some amazing creators out there who have made things so much easier for us as crafters. that now they don't quite go back together again as they should because the tape was holding things back as well but I will do my best um, but that's that's not a bad effort I'll put some tape on it when I'm finished all right um, as I said ten dollars if you would like to try this box for five dollars for your first box then please follow the link in the description um, if there is a box that you particularly like, you can actually double down on the box. So you could get, you know, double this if you knew that this box was coming up. So I will put the number of the box in the title. So it's just that I haven't looked at the video and I'm not going to delay you really. Um, it's 19, 20, 21 kind of thing, possibly 20. Uh, but I will have it in the title. So you will be certain there. And um, yeah, it's check it out if you'd like and yeah the um first six unboxing videos i don't know where they went um if you want the first six boxes and you want to have a look at what's there um i actually got this off the back of watching mrs coffee um so maybe go check out her youtube channel check out her um darn good yarn videos and see if boxes one to six are there so you can actually get a sneak peek of what's in them they are the same so everyone who is getting box 20 21 whatever it is is always getting this yarn so everyone gets the same thing per number so um yeah now she's no longer doing it and we may we may be now up to the same kind of box she gets hers in advance because she's in the US. So this might have been her final box. I can't recall because I try not to look at her videos for spoilers. <laughs> I want to be able to enjoy what is coming myself. So um, if there's the first, you know, few boxes that you're interested in seeing what's in them, um, yeah, certainly check them out on YouTube. I don't know where my videos went. I know I did them. I'm sure I was doing videos when I was um, buying the boxes, but maybe not. I don't know. I could always try doing a recap going, this is box number one and this is box number two. Let me know if you need this. Like, seriously, let me know if you need to see boxes one to six to know whether or not it's something that you would enjoy doing. Um, I have done projects. I have them behind me, but I have done projects with the yarn that comes from these boxes. I did string art on one occasion and I think there's another box that I got in the mid-teens that would be good for string art as well but when I got that particular box that I did the string art with it was like oh my goodness I'm so excited I just was immediately knew what I was going to do with that yarn this stuff maybe not so much although from a wearing a headscarf kind of kerchief bandana thing I might do something like that keep the hair out of the way or maybe even do it for Sophie so that she can wear her hair out of her face. Otherwise, her gorgeous blonde hair is in her face. So, you know, for a nice little project, that's kind of cute. Um, and it will knit up in no time. Knit, crochet. Anyway, it would emerge in no time. All right. Thank you for joining me. 
and um, I will see you again on the next video. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.